Hello everyone, it's Farkad here, and in this video I'm going to show you all the ways you can get into this sinkhole. Now the first way is that you can actually jump down, though you require 99 athleticism. You can achieve this by the set skill space ath, ATH, space 100, and in the console commands. Uh, developer mode on in the main menu, that's where you've got to type to activate console. You press F1 and then you can type them in. Not available on PS4. Now this way was shown to me by Zebulon. Maybe I should have left God Mode on to iron out the bugs. Problem is, once you go into the sinkhole, if you teleport out, you're technically in the cave system, so you're going to fall through the floor. Didn't think about that before I started this video. Now, the way you can get down is that you can jump in from one of these ledges over here. Yeah, the jumping in one I'll probably call the Zebulon jump or the Zeb jump. Though when he told me, he's like, you can jump into the sinkhole. And then I asked pretty much straight away afterwards, did you have 99 athleticism? And he goes, shit. <laughs> Just, I don't know how that happened then, but yes, you can do it. Going back to where it was, stay on the rocks. If I stand on the grass, I'm going to fall through. Somewhere around here, at the top part. Oh, I slipped. Nope. Oh. Now this is going to be a while before you get 100 athleticism, so it's probably not the best way to do it. I don't even jump, man. And I'm trying many times here, but I keep stuffing up the jump, so. Eh, it's not the best way. And I think I missed the jump again. Oh! No, I would have died there. I was close though. So yes, you can jump down in there. Okay, I reloaded, so it's fixed it. Might have to figure out a better way to do this. None of these are in any particular order. I'll list their pros and cons as I'm going along. You'll find the way that's best for you, and best for your situation as well. One of the easiest ways is using a zip line. You have to start it, I think, over here somewhere, probably near this waterfall, I would say. And it has to be fairly close to the edge. And you have to run it over to, I think, that line over there. But I haven't tried many other places, but this seems to be like a good position to start from. And I don't really want to walk slowly, so I'm going to turn speedy run on. Get around here. Oh, you could easily get it over the whole thing. You just try and get it over the middle. That way, you're more guaranteed to land in the water. And the reason I do it from there is that you know it's going to, have to be facing down. So a lot of these points along here are uneven. You don't know which way you're going to start from. That's not necessarily a bad thing. There we go. I don't know, maybe that's just my favourite spot to start doing these things from. And turn speedy run off. The reason I'm not using a mod API in the ultimate cheat menu is that it can change things about the game that aren't requested. For instance, unlimited zip line length. I kind of don't want to give out false info. I think you've got to hold on for about five seconds. It's pretty easy to guess, I think. Now, pretty much all these methods, while they'll get you into the sinkhole, they won't get you out of it. That's a completely different beast. Okay. Yep, it's done that thing again. The way I can reset it is that I go back into a cave and then leave and it will fix it. I think the sinkhole is fiddly in this game. I'll try it from in a cave and see what happens. Oh, that worked. The next way I'm going to try is a way that I've never tried before, but that's just using a tree zip line. And you can put them up any height. I just don't use them. I don't like using anything that's attached to a tree because they can get taken down by a few of the mutants in the game. The armsy, the worm, and the girl mutant. They can all take a tree down. Hence why you don't see me building tree houses. Okay. Doesn't look like the tree zip line is going to work because it's trash. Anything that's attached to a tree is trash. <laughs> oh, that's just my opinion. Yeah. I don't know what's not working. It should work. It's aiming down really low for some reason. Maybe if I go back up a bit further. Nah, I don't think it's going to work. And to be honest, I don't want to bother trying. Just cut down two or three trees and build a standing zip line. Because you know that's going to work. The next way is to build a basic wall out. Oh, I've got enemies here. Uh, I can't be stuffed. Kill all enemies. Oh, she just caught Corona. <laughs> is that in bad taste? I make jokes about that. Okay, basic wall like that. Uh, I'll probably go for the underneath bit like that. And you just keep extending it out. No, not there. Oh, I'm getting pretty far out now. I don't know if I could build that. Yeah, I could. You don't build these ones. I don't know. You can if you want. We'll give you a ramp, but just as a suggestion, what you can do will be a bit more cleaner and probably save you a, a fair amount of logs. Put a basic stairs there. Tree bridge. Link it up. Yeah, I think that would be a lot cheaper. So once you got that done... You just keep building a basic wall out. Uh, it's fairly expensive. Though you could always make a 
floating sinkhole base once you're done. Just don't step on the blueprint unless you know it's completed. If it's still in its blueprint form, if you know what I mean. Otherwise you'll fall down. One of the other benefits of the basic wall is that if they destroy any of the pieces, the whole thing won't collapse. It'll just stay there. You don't need to build that many. But if you've got low athleticism, you might want to build a few. But this would be enough for one player to easily jump in their source at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 times 5 is a number that I don't know because I am terrible at maths. But just to show you, I could just literally run off. And there you go. Bob's your auntie. I kind of wish I did have the ultimate cheat menu on just so I could fly out of here and didn't have to do this. <laughs> the next way is relatively easy and it will cost you about the same amount, I think. Uh, it's hard to say. All you do is use the... Uh, custom stairs and go out like that and build that actually no this will probably be more expensive and then you just do little bits at a time oh maybe no what's that 12 logs a piece uh no this might be cheaper actually there's this little thing that happens right if you go down it shortens it go up lengthens it but it will probably cost more so the other ones were 12 that's 11 and it's shorter what you should do is go until it's like that. Because one more log and it's it's longer. Uh, keep in mind that I'm down lower so I have less time to manoeuvre. Hmm. I'll try it from here. I'll just run off. I've got 99 athleticism, remember? So I'm 50% faster. And you don't want to land on a rock like this. So safe before you do it. I'm going to try something. Go to hull. No, that didn't work. Okay. Yeah, so that doesn't work. <laughs> go to hull takes you to the plane. Next one, I have to add all story items. And that's to do the exact same thing, except with the coaster. The coaster will cost less logs, but it will use sticks. So if you're doing it from around here, no, not here. I'm gonna skim my way so I don't fall through the floor. Just here, there's heaps of sticks here and heaps of trees too. See, places not to do it are like over there near the river, because there's barely any trees. Over here is much better. Lots of trees, so you could grab the resources really quickly. You honestly could have one of these done in a matter of 10 minutes with normal building. But yeah, so same thing. It's just like that. What's that? Eight. It was eight logs and something. Oh, six logs, seven sticks. Uh, it's hard to say what would be cheaper. I honestly wouldn't really care. I actually don't mind this way because you've got a guardrail to stop you from falling off. And you can still take a log cart down these. Yeah, I think this is actually cheaper than the custom says, so this might be the cheapest way. But you have to get the blueprint for it, and the blueprint is somewhere. I honestly don't remember. I get them confused. I think it's the one near the biggest island in the game, or the one that's commonly built on, near the fertile lands. Yeah, see, like that. And that's fine, I should be able to just run off that without even jumping. Yeah, easy. The next way, and I really don't want to do this, and I can't reference a video for doing it. <laughs> But it's a way that's been done for a while, but it is extremely painful to do. And that is to build a staircase going around the outside of the sinkhole. The good thing about it, though, is that you can get in and out of the sinkhole. That will take you a long time. Probably better off starting it from where I did that zip line because there's a little ledge. But this will take you a very long time to do. And what you do is literally just keep building down with the stairs. So you get what I mean. You keep building down. Now, eventually, you're going to reach the floor. There's an invisible floor. And it does a few things. It's mainly to prevent players from doing fun things. So it's like the fun police of the sinkhole. You can actually see it down there. See, it's... I can place that. Oh, but I just went past it. But yes, that prevents you from going down with a few structures. Though, the custom stairs, you can get around it fairly easy. The coaster, not so much. That's why you can't really build a coaster around. You might be able to do it. I'm not going to say you can't, but I'm saying it's very doubtful. So yes, that's one way you can do it, though it's extremely expensive. There are a couple of ledges around the sinkhole. There's one over there, and there's one up there. That's near the Katana Cave, but you can't really build down or off them or build zip lines down to them. So it's like, mm, it's not really worth knowing. The next way is probably my favorite, just because of the ridiculousness of it and that is to climb a rope backwards up into the air sliding down if i worded that correctly it's just really silly but this is how you do it what you do is you get a basic wall and you can't build it on the cliff here so you've got to build away from it say like there 
This might not work every time, so save before doing it, so you can reload if you stuff it up. Well, if the game stuffs it up for you. Okay, see I've put that sideways one on. Then you go this one, and this one's actually upside down, but it's under the ground, so it might not work. So I'll quickly build that. And sit climbing rope, touch that. Okay, yep, it worked. And then you slide backwards, but you're going up. And it's quite fast to do. And what you do is that you just go really, really high, and then you let go. Now this does drain your stamina. Even if you run out of stamina while sliding backwards, upwards, back down thing, once you reach zero stamina, you can still keep going. And you can stop midway. Allow sunshine off. Just so you can see better, because otherwise it's just too much fog. This to give you an idea of where we are. We're fairly high up, though you gotta remember we built this back from the sinkhole, so when you let go, you've got no propulsion. You've just gotta shimmy your way to the middle of the sinkhole. So you gotta go up pretty high. But this is by far my favorite way to get into it though. The silliness of it. And it's really easy to do. It's one rope, five logs. Providing you get it done on the first go, which is, I don't know, 50-50 chance. All the methods I'm gonna be mentioning can be done on PC and PlayStation, by the way. I'm pretty high up now. It does get to a point where you flip around and you turn upside down on the rope that's invisible, etc. And because they're not working on the game anymore, I doubt this one's gonna be fixed. Okay, we're up pretty high now, so I might let go and see if I can make it. You gotta be quick. All right, there's a sinkhole. Oh yeah, easy. Also, I've got 99 athleticism, so I'm gonna be moving faster in the air. But yeah, there we go. I canceled it because I don't wanna have to go through the rigmarole of going into the cave just to console command my way out. Yeah, it allows sunshine off, it turns the fog off. You can do this in alternate cheat menu too. The next way is a little bit more tricky but it can work and if you do get it to work it's a lot faster but you're sliding sideways instead of up so you can go directly over the sinkhole just let go so what you do place that like that and then you place this on its side here we're gonna try and get it to go down oh there we go okay let's just try it this way i might fall through the earth that's the bad thing about this oh no looks like it is working while I'm climbing up, which is a little bit slower, but it's working. And you just keep climbing until you're over the middle of the sinkhole. But yeah, you can climb forever on with this bug. And this one's only five logs and one rope. This is probably quicker, though I'm sprint climbing and you wouldn't have the stamina to do this. So yeah, it would be a slow climb. Yeah, I think I'm fairly getting close to the middle. Let go. Yeah, there you go. I'll land. Let's see if I made it. No, I didn't make it. It's annoying, man. <laughs> I probably could just go to the water in the sinkhole and just quickly swim in and swim out, but I think it would take about the same amount of time. Okay, the next way is the way I was originally supposed to go, which is slide backwards, which would be a lot faster. Oh, go away. Scared the crap out of me. Go away. Move. All right, so what you do with this one is... The same thing as before, that you get the basic wall and you attach it to the slide uh, down from this one. So I need to get it down. These are fiddly. Don't do these over the uh, ledges, the rock formations, because they just won't work. All right. So, yep. There's a good chance I might fall down. That's why I put it on a, like a mound here, is that if it's on flat ground, you're most likely going to end up underneath the ground and fall through it, which I might do here. I oh, know. Uh, looks like it's working. Nah. Damn it. I'll try it again. Yeah, sometimes this will happen where there's... You can't place the rope. Oh, you can. There you go. It won't show the icon sometimes, or sometimes it just won't place. But don't spend too long on it. All right, let's try that again. Come on. Take me to the... No! <laughs> it didn't work. Good textures. Oh, uh, no, I've probably fallen through the map. No, oh, where am I? There's like invisible rocks here. Where am I, actually? Uh, I'm going to try the, where I go to where I actually am right now, which is 198 minus 3... God, the numbers are so small. 385 minus 168. All uh, right, that's taken me into the cave world. 
and then I can go back out and that fixed it yeah I should have just done that to begin with so that way I have got it to work before but if you collide with anything on the ground it doesn't work if you come out of the ground it can kick you off it I'm gonna try it one more time because I have made it work before but at this point I think this way might be a little too annoying I have a feeling as soon as I go above ground, it's just going to kick me off. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it does do that too. It worked the first time, doesn't work the second time, but it might not work the first time, but it'll work the second time. If you know what I mean, it's all random. But yeah, I'm going to fall nonstop. I actually left this running uh, for about an hour and a half one time while recording in 4K for some stupid reason. So I clogged up my hard drive, but yeah, eventually everything disappears. You just keep falling. So go to the cave, wait for that to load, and then go to the, to the above ground. Oh, I should have been doing that earlier. So yeah, that way I'd probably rule out as a no-go. Maybe you can do it. The thing is, I don't really like showing anything that I cannot do a second time. The results have got to be repeatable. It's been many times I've found something I thought, oh, I can make a great video on this, and then boom, I can't repeat the process. Now the next way, and this is a way I don't recommend unless you're very good with the glider but you can just glide down. The glider is a blueprint schematic that you gotta find. Now if you like Zebulon and many other people who like to show off this skill you can fly out of the sinkhole by using that method that I did a video on a long time ago where you just keep tapping. I've actually never been able to repeat the process but some people can. I <laughs> just knock the glider out of my hands. Though I'll put up the video of Zebulon getting out of here. These guys down here can even appear on creative, just so you know, and passive mode. So don't count on it to be 100% safe. You can do it. Just follow what he's doing here. Pay very close attention to his movements. So it is doable to actually get out of the sinkhole of the glider, but don't ask me how to do it. Another way to get down to the bottom of the sinkhole, and this requires multiplayer, is to have someone already at the bottom of the sinkhole and the next people just jump down and die well get knocked unconscious and now the person just revives them though so i can't show that here but something to keep in mind the next way is the oclexi ramp and i'm only calling it the oclexi ramp because he came up with it and i've done a video on it some time ago he's got a particular way of doing it where you can send logs down on it but i don't really believe him because he's british the spot for doing it i think is somewhere around here here's where i did it last time but he said this is the wrong spot and also you need a way to do the placement at the bottom so it's not all hunky dory so i'm just going to do it from the spot that he said is the wrong spot and he gave me shit for it so which is around here and what you do is you need to find a way to get down there otherwise you'll just die but at this point of the game you might have 99 athleticism so it might not be a big deal i just noticed that the kill all enemies command doesn't kill the things that are down here i'll try it now oh i got him so what you need to do is that you place it up there. You need to go onto the top of these rocks here. I can feel Oclexi's internal screaming going, No, you're doing it the wrong way, you fucking idiot. And his beautiful British faggoty accent. And it's somewhere around here. Just aim at the ground. Keep clicking. Don't move the mouse or the controller, which I'm doing. But you can see it coming down. And sort of get it to just work. Come on. I might have been aiming a little too low. And there we go. And that costs you 197 logs and 321 sticks, roughly. I would have been aiming a little bit lower. If you make a mistake and you cancel it, you start right-clicking, it will disappear and you won't know where it actually is. If you keep cancelling placements for long enough, you'll eventually cancel the original placement. You'll have to go all the way back up there to place it again. So try and get it right the first time. <laughs> Save before doing it. And there it is. You can build it from up there too. Obviously, you're going to be building it up there because that's where all the logs and sticks are. This is one of the best ways to get in and out of the sinkhole because it's actually not that expensive. There's a lot of trees around here and you can get in and out. You can even build stuff down there if you wanted to. And you can drop logs down there, but like I said before, Oclexi said that I've done it wrong. And then if you do it right his way, you can slide them down and I'll make it all the way to the bottom. That invisible floor just messes things up. And I'll show you this invisible floor. I'll take a log cart down. Well, that didn't go too well. Come back. No, stop. Stop, police. All right, it's down here somewhere. There it is. That's the invisible floor. It's lifting me up. If I go back up. There we go. 
but you can still take it. Wow, that's actually probably a better way to get the logs down there. <laughs> At least you know they're going to be down there. Because logs despawn all the freaking time. Log hack on... I don't think this is going to work because I can't drop the logs. No, I can't. Log hack off. Unless I've got one log. Come on, log. Don't fail me. So hit that invisible floor. If you follow them one at a time, you're going to be all right. Yeah, that's just probably not going to be the best way to do it. This is going to be much quicker than building a staircase all the way around. It's just stupid. But that's the way we had to do it back in the day when we didn't have those things. Add all items. And I'm just doing this because I want to. You don't really need to know this, but you can use the sled to get down really fast. It's quite cool. Vroom. Oh, my log. <laughs> it derailed me. It used to cheat it. That's knocked me off. Oh, can I get back up here? I should have started with this to begin with. Then I would have had an easy way to get out of the sinkhole without using these stupid console commands. Oh, now I've got the rebreather. So now it's going to want to put that on every time. And I have to take it off. That's okay. That's just me whinging. The next way, this has been met with mixed results because it used to work. And then it was patched a lot, so it didn't work so often. And I just haven't been able to get it to work since. There's no real way for me to test it without dying. And dying's just going to add a lot of time to it. But you can test this yourself. And that's using the turtle sled to get down to the bottom of the sinkhole. Originally, you could just jump straight down to the bottom. And then you take a little bit of damage, but you'll be fine. And then you had to bounce off the side of the sinkhole. And you'd be right. But now I haven't been able to get down to the bottom of the sinkhole with the turtle sled. I'll try. I ricocheted once, but I don't know, I would have survived that. Yeah, so you can do it. There was no blood on the screen. That's a good sign that you've taken a lot of damage. So it is doable. But I'll show you a not so successful method. Man, I've tried that so many times. Why did that work for me just then? All right. If you see the red blood, it's probably a good sign that it hasn't worked. Yeah, red blood. See the blood? Red blood. God, what other color is blood? Pretty sure all blood's red. Anyway, going off topic. So yeah, you can die, but you can do it. I don't know how I just did it. I did notice that I deflected from around the top of the sinkhole. Usually I try to aim halfway, but when I was doing that, I was dying. Or maybe that was just a fluke because of the way I landed. I don't know. You try it out. If you die, I am not responsible. The next way is with a basic wall as well. This way is actually quite easy to do. Uh, just place the basic wall, but make sure it's on an angle. Not too much of one, because then the rope might not place. Eh, it looks, that looks nice. Like that. Yeah, I didn't place it right. I haven't done this in a very long time, that's why I <laughs> forgot the method. But uh, I'm going to try it again. It's just on a slight angle, like that. And I'll place another one on top. Cancel this one. Build that. Okay. Are you still not going to work for me? Rude. You're trying to embarrass me in front of all these people? Oh, no, it's working. And then, because it was on an angle, you're not actually getting to the top of it. So he's going to go straight up. So this is like the sliding backwards way, but it's not as comical, so I don't like it as much. It's the exact same thing. You climb forever. I seem to be going straight up too, so I'm not going away from the sinkhole, which is a good thing. You'll need to go up fairly high for this, though. But this way, you probably wouldn't need to go as high as the sliding backwards one because you know where your face, your trajectory isn't messed up. Like you're upside down facing God knows what way. With this way, you're facing directly towards the sinkhole. So as soon as you let go, you hit and shift and forward. So you're going to head straight. Uh, I think I could make it from here. Uh, yeah, you probably want to go a little bit higher if you got low athleticism. The next way I'm not going to show you in this video, but I'll show you a video I did of it. It was building a basic wall ramp all the way down to the bottom. Now that way is very difficult to get started because you've got to place the basic wall on an angle close to the sinkhole and not too high. Otherwise you can't get basic walls to go off it sideways. And that is actually very hard to do. It's actually not a bad way to get down to the bottom of the sinkhole because you can build off its sort of thing, if you know what I mean with basic walls and that. Though I'd definitely recommend going the Oclexi ramp with the coaster or the log truck. I think it is a fair bit cheaper. Yeah, it would be a lot cheaper because it was 200 logs and that would be 20 ramps. And I think I used about 40 or 50 ramps to get to the bottom. The way is all right. It probably give you a little bit more freedom with building, 
because you could snap basic walls to the side of it and then run tree bridges off it so you could build like midway up the sinkhole and all sorts of crazy things though it's a lot of work the first placement is the hardest part and everything after that is fairly easy except you can fall into the sinkhole if you're not careful well prematurely the next way and i've never really got this to work because i don't know reasons but was to do a flying axe attack and i don't think you can do it anymore because they increase the amount of fall damage you take from it but a flying axe attack is like that attack that i did in that video where i killed the crocodile this one interior crocodile alligator i drive a chevrolet movie now that attack is actually quite unique because it uses 75 percent of your remaining stamina so if you've got 100 stamina it will use 75 if you've got 50 it'll take away 75 percent of that which is the number that i don't wish to disclose because i don't know so the trigger and a flying axe attack is you've got to jump from a height and then you attack like this but yeah, you do take a fair bit of damage. Now what speedrunners were doing, applying the same principle to the bottom of the sinkhole, is where they'll do a flying axe attack and glitch it. And it can be done, I think. No, I stuffed it up. Did I go down too far? Yeah, I did. So you gotta make sure you jump first. Right, there's my flying axe attack. I must look funny like this. If I see blood, I know it hasn't worked. Maybe I could skim off the site. Yeah, no, that would have killed me. I'll try a couple more times. Maybe if you skim down the side of a, a rock or something. Nah, that would have killed me. Yeah, I'd rule this one as not working, though it might work. It would take a few attempts, but due to the unpredictability of it, yeah, I don't think it's going to work. If you're looking for very glitchy ways of getting to the bottom of the sinkhole, check out some speed runs of the forest. Some of them glitch through the bottom of the map and land right at the front of the cave entrance. You can check it out if you like. I actually recommend it. It might be interesting. Some speed runs can be funny to watch, and especially when they get angry. That's the best part. As mentioned before, the two ledges. I don't have a method of how to get to the bottom of the sinkhole from these. I'm going to show you where they are. So the first one is... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. The first one is actually quite close to here. So what you do is go up to these waterfalls, and you just follow this... Path? I don't actually I'm not gonna say follow the path because I don't know how long it goes for but yeah you follow the edge of the cliff here that's at uh, Kings Hill the center of the map the big tree yeah I think this path might actually lead to it it's the cave one where the katana is don't go up take a veer to the right I think uh, keep going I might actually follow this path and see where it takes me oh look it did it took me straight here so follow the path yeah, this is cave one. It's one of the entrances. It's probably the harder entrance if you're after the Kitana. Though, if you're after the sinkhole ledge, it's probably a better way. All right. I can't see. Absolute crap. There we go. Knock this barricade down. Base and my headset's insane. Wow. All right. So you get to here. You usually continue down here to go to the Katana. See, I'm um, Jeffrey here. Follow it down here. There's no enemies down here for a long way, so you can chill. There is some supplies down here, like cans of soda, some suitcases, bats. All right, so you get to a, this point here, just as you get out of the water, you can keep going. There's enemies past there. There's like an armsy and crap. There's two barricades, and then there's an armsy not far behind it. We're not going to go that way. We're going to just take a left and go down here. And there's a cassette down here. And there's also some dynamite and the Latin paper. No enemies down here, so you, you can just chill. Here's the Latin paper. Someone with a sinkhole and a picture of someone on a cross. There's some dynamite. Guy with no head. I don't have a joke for that. And then the ledge part here. And there's just some more dynamite out here. And this is the ledge from the sinkhole. You cannot build a zip line running down to here because this is past that invisible line, so you can't take a zip line through it. You cannot run a zip line directly down because of that invisible line. And there's the other ledge over there. Now, if I go back up here. Oh, cool. See where this knob of rock is? It's actually just under that knob. You can actually. No, well, maybe not. There it is there. Oh, I landed on top of it. That, that would have killed me. But just underneath here. Somewhere. I've lost it. Oh no. Oh no. There's somewhere around there. I can't be stopped. It's annoying me. Or maybe it was right underneath where I was sinking. 
I'll know once I get around here. Oh, you need speedy run for this one. It's over there somewhere. Really hard to see because it's actually quite small. Is that it there? That might be it, just there. Eh, it's annoying me. I can't keep looking at it. So the ledge for that one down there, quickest way to access it is from this cave here. This is also known as the Climbing Axe Cave, or the technically it leads to the chainsaw as well. It's a long way down, so it's not exactly quick. And there's a few babies in your way. It's where the chainsaw used to be. Uh, just There's a climb right there. And there's another one here that you can actually just jump straight into the water from. Back in the old day, I think this was my second or third video on how to get the chainsaw without the rebreather, because this is usually dark. You can't see where you're going without a rebreather. I can't. Can I take it off? No, I can't take it off mid-water. This small part here, but if you got lost, you'd easily drown if it was pitch black. I think the game used to be a lot darker than it is now. Well, it depends on what platform you're playing on. There's some babies down here. This is where the chainsaw used to be in this little room. I don't know why they moved it. Do whatever you want, kill them. Probably a good idea to kill them. And this is where the ledge is. There might be ways that you could sort of hop down, etc. There's this thing over here where there's bones sometimes and then there's bones not other times. And it looks like there's no bones. Oh yeah, there's bones. But sometimes you come here, there's no bones. Sometimes there is. But if you're on passive mode, this can be a good way to get some bones. Also, take down effigies and just take the legs and then cook them on a fire and they'll disperse. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you these. There might be ways to get down from here because you actually, especially this one, you're quite close to the bottom of the sinkhole from here. You might be able to shimmy your way down. Another way that you used to be able to do it, and I think they removed it, was a climbing axe way. There's a lot of effort just to get down the bottom of the sinkhole from here, but you used to be able to attach your climbing axe to the side of the sinkhole. I think you still can, but there's only a few spots you can do it now. But I'm just going to shimmy my way down. Because you also got to take into account, if you take damage each time with those little falls, you'll have to heal up. If you're on hard survival, that's the healing rate's significantly slowed. Um, I haven't done this in a long time, so it's hard to say. Uh, yeah, I think I've reached a point of no return. No! Oh no. Oh yeah, so you can do it. So that's one way down. And I'll show you the... Used to be able to attach it to this. Yeah, you can still. So you can go up a little bit like this. Oh, there you go. I just found something out. <laughs> you can get inside the cave system. That never used to happen. Oh, I'll try one more time. Seems like they've removed the ability and instead added an extra bug that you can glitch inside the wall. So yeah, I don't think you can do it this way anymore. You might be able to, but I don't really have the time or patience to actually test this one out completely. Yeah, it's a good trick for you to know if you're ever recording tutorials. If you're cold, wear the warm suit. If you've got god mode on, that way it gets rid of that cold crap. Because this is actually night time. I've got lighting time of day override on. If I turn it off, it is night time. But I've got it set to noon. So the sun's directly above. That way I don't have to worry about shadows and that darkening the video and be a guy in night time and that sort of stuff. The next way is to build a bridge. And I'm not going to do it again. Because this is actually... It takes a while, but it can be good if you want to build a base over the sinkhole. I got a video from Season 5 where I did it. And this is probably one of the better ways to build over the sinkhole. Though it's a little bit more risky because the ends could be taken out. You're that far away from them that I don't think that they could actually hit it. And you'd probably be smart enough to set it up in a way that there's a much less chance of it happening. This way is quite time consuming. Though it sets you up for a good base later on if that's what you want to do. Plus, you've got a custom floor that goes over the sinkhole, so you can do a lot of other stuff with it, which I think is quite neat. Neato burrito. Now, while editing this video, I had some ideas for some other methods, so I went and record them, and I'm voiceovering them now. The first one's to use a coaster. Place it on one side, and then run over to the other. All you do is aim up and click three or four times. I clicked five here, and it was too many. So that way, you don't have to manually go out and place them like I did before. This way might be better, that will probably take about the same amount of time. It's up to you. It will give you a cleaner bridge. It can be all done in one placement, but you'll have to run around the full length of the sinkhole. Worked out to be about 66 logs and 108 sticks. It was way too long. That was five clicks. 
I think three should be enough. Play four if you want a bit of extra insurance. The next one is with the coaster again, though all you're doing is actually going over the full length of the sinkhole. I don't know if this is viable, it might open up some building options later on. It ended up costing 187 logs and 305 sticks, so it was about the same amount to go down to the bottom of the sinkhole. So then you have a bridge across the whole sinkhole, which might come in handy for other things. And you'll be able to access it from both ends. Though this is a pretty expensive option. Though it got me thinking about the type of building things you could actually do with a coaster. Because you can place custom walls and rock walls and stuff on them. And they can float essentially. They're not limited like the custom stairs are. And the custom foundation. But they have to be a certain height off the ground. Otherwise they don't work. So something to think about. Now this one is just dumb, though I'll show you it because you've probably had this idea and that's to build a custom foundation across the whole thing. It lags your game something crazy and it costs like I think 3,000 or something logs to build, probably more. It takes a ridiculous amount of time to build it. Not recommended though, I'm showing you that it can be done. It is a way down in the sinkhole, but it's just stupid. Even with creative mode on, you have to sit there and place logs on it for so long. It took that long that I ended up just using the build all ghost command. If you use that command when there's too many logs to be placed, it pretty much crushes your game. But yeah, it's speedy run on, I forgot to turn it off and yeah, I didn't make it far on the bridge before I fell off. Yeah, so I don't recommend this way, but it is a way technically. And there's two ways that don't work that I'll show you them just if you're curious. You cannot have a tree bridge go across the sinkhole and the reason for it is they sag and it sags really bad to a point where it disappears into the cliff and underneath the sinkhole so it actually goes underground but now as i'm speaking i'm actually thinking maybe this could be used for something in a cave you build a sagging tree bridge it will be really expensive that might give you a platform underneath in the cave that you could use just don't know what for yet remember you can place rock walls and stuff on them so you'll be able to build off those tree bridges you can see the shadow of it, but it's completely underground, it sags that bad. That's one of the things that I like about the tree bridge, just keep them short. And also, I thought I'd try out a raft. As I got it into the sinkhole, it glitched out majorly. And then I realized that it doesn't matter even if you get it into the sinkhole, because there's the invisible floor, and it will just get stuck there, mid-air. It won't go any lower. And you can't paddle in mid-air, so I don't know what the hell I was doing trying to do it this way. Final ways to get down there the traditional way, and that's to use Cave 7, which is over near that enclosure, near the land bridge. But yeah, follow the land bridge here, and then head straight, and I'll take you to the cave. This is a spawn spot for mutants and stuff, so it can be quite dangerous here. This is one of my favorite caves, though, because it's got a neat little supply drop inside. I can't use the filter, so I'm just going to have to manually add it through video editing. All right, so you gotta come down here. Don't jump down there, cause you gotta deal with these guys. Usually I hold it out an axe and block and they'll open it for me. Yeah, that's just ridiculously loud. That was peaking like crazy. You go to this rope down here, climb down here, which I'm not going to cause I'm too lazy. Modern axe used to be there. And then you climb down this rope here. And then you climb down this rope here. As you can see, you don't want to fall off any of these ropes, especially that one. And then you need to jump over there, which can be quite tricky with low athleticism. I would have fell if I didn't have max athleticism there. Now, if you got this one, it takes you to the tennis racket and the pedometer, pedometer, I can never say that word right, so I'm just going to skip it. But you climb down this one. A quicker way is just to let go, but I don't know if you got god mode. And then you jump across this one. And then you climb down this one over here. And then you'll run past all this crap here. There's a few babies and a couple of channels. Climb through this little vagina. Or a clench butthole if you prefer. If you swing that way, my friends. Run along this ledge. Can't blow that hole open over there, even though it says you can, so it's lies, fake news, and not a CNN. Oh, I wouldn't have taken damage from that. So this is the thing, is that sometimes you can fall along heights, but if you land on a funny angle or skin things, you won't take any damage. So that's a luck thing, I think. Quite a few tents along the way so you can save. G'day guys. A lot of the time you can actually skip the enemies. I generally do for doing tutorials. It's quicker. Cave combat is not exactly the most fun thing. Over there is a pond. Whoa. Come on, lighter. A pond that just over there takes you to the modern bow. But we're not going that way and I don't want to confuse you. We come out this way. So you just take a hard left. 
go through here, jump in here. If you got the rebreather, it'll automatically switch on. Here's a bit of light. Ah, oh, I probably should have mentioned. You need explosives to get through here. Unless you pissed off the armsies. That little hole that I said that you can't blow open. Oh no. Make enough noise and I'll come through and knock it down for you. You technically don't need it. Come on, I'm over here. Come on. Oh, there we go. So yeah, you don't really need explosives. Just make a lot of noise and bring them down. Once he's down there, don't get hit in the back. You can just shimmy your way up there. You don't need a climbing axe. You might be able to drown him. Might be a good idea, but you'll lose the mutant armor. Well, there's another one in here anyway. Place your three rocks on there. You go through here. It's just a suitcase with clothing in it. This bit's a bit tricky because you got to... Actually, I'm not stupid. Just let me run right past. And you run along here. No items down here, as far as I know. I'm too lazy to check every time I come past here. There's Timmy's toy leg there. And then you run through here. And we're back at the spot that I he was using to get out of the sinkhole. Should take the rebreather off. I keep getting to do that. But yeah, I'm at the bottom of the sinkhole now. It's a long way and there's a lot of threats to deal with. So I can understand why people want an easier way. But that's the, the way and night wants you to take it. Makes sense. So that's all the ways... You can build down here, just not much. There are certain things you can't build, but I don't know why you'd want to build them. I think a crane's one of them. Oh, you can build a crane, but you can't build it all the way up. If you have the ultimate cheat menu, you'll be able to build it all the way up flying around, but it only goes up like five or six levels on this thing, so it's not very high at all. Not worth it. If you want to build down a sinkhole, you can. Just keep in mind that enemies can respawn down here, though it's rare. It's usually a bug. I wouldn't worry too much about it. So there we go. This took ages to record. Though hopefully it'll be interesting nonetheless. Anyway, let me know in the comments what your favorite way of getting down this bottom of the sinkhole is. And if your favorite's the backwards climbing up but sliding down one, <laughs> then you're a legend. <laughs> I've got to come up with a name for that one. It's just too funny. I love it. It's great. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers. Cheers.